Hey friends! Today I'm going to be showing a tutorial that is extra special for me. I grew up a dancer and doing ballet and so for recitals and special events we would always have to put our hair in a ballerina bun with a hairnet and all of that goodness. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. This is also great for you moms out there who maybe aren't so sure how to do it. This is teacher approved and it's lasted me so well. No flyaways and all that stuff for years. So. Can't wait for you to see. So Addie's hair um, has a little bit of texture to it already. Um, if your hair is super fine, a lot of times with little girls, um, you may want to put a little texture spray or just start with a little hairspray that um, is kind of a pliable hold, so not like your jet setter one that you're going to finish it with, but just kind of a, one that's going to give it a little bit of a workable hold, but some texture. So start with that and then um, I'm just going to get my brush and bring it all to the back. I'll show you what that looks like. So I've gathered everything, brushed it all to the back, and I am putting her ponytail right here, kind of at the apex of her head, just so just right there so you can't see it from the front, but it's also not super low. So, right there in the middle. When doing ballet, it's always about the lines and really when you're putting your hair up, you're just trying to get it out of the way and as slicked back as possible. I'm gonna have you hold onto the brush for me. Okay, so now that it's in a secure ponytail, I am going to get rid of some of these flyaways. So, um, I'll just spray a little of the hairspray onto her hair, but also spray a little of the hairspray onto the comb and brush it all back. So any of the little baby hairs, um, and as I mentioned before, flyaways are just getting tucked up with that hairspray. Another trick is to use the back of the comb because sometimes it's nice to help smooth all the hairs in and sometimes you just need to smooth them down. So this is an extra special comb. Um, it's for teasing. I just had this on hand today. So to be quite honest with you, that's why I'm using it. Um, if you want to use just your regular household comb, that works perfectly fine. The next step is going to be to split her ponytail into two large sections. I say large, but really just two sections, so depending on the thickness of your hair, they may be large or small. And so I'm just going to twist it and bring it around. As soon as um, the hair starts to kind of twist out of the twist, if that makes sense. You will put your finger on it and then put a pin in it. So you've got the one pinned up. As long as it's secure, you can take care of some of the little tiny flyaways later on. And now you will just do the exact same thing with the next one. So here it's starting to fly away and I will just pin that in. Okay, so at this point you have a beautiful ballerina bun that is perfect for day-to-day -day classes. But if you do have an occasion, a recital, something special that you especially don't want your hair to fly out or get any flyaways or any chance of falling down, then you're going to want to use your handy dandy hairnet. You can pick one of these up at Kroger or Walmart or wherever is your local convenience store. And I will just slide this over top, twist it, and then depending on the thickness of your hair, it just depends on how many times you'll be able to wrap it over. 
For, K uh, for adding here, I'm just gonna wrap it over twice, take a little of the excess um, hairnet and tuck it under the bun. And then I will go back and secure this again with more bobby pins. So the last thing you're gonna wanna do is a final hairspray. I'm using a high hold hairspray so that no matter what, uh, Addie's hairs are gonna stay in place. So rain or shine, dance or no dance, all that good stuff, she'll be secure. It is as easy as that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of your everyday ballerina bun. If you do try it out, please tag us in your photos. We would love to share them on our feed. Have a great day.